panel, uh, friends from all over the world, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, a very good afternoon to you. It's a real pleasure to speak to such a diverse and distinguished audience because this conference and all of you are really representative of how India has influence all over the world. And I was thinking when I was invited uh, very kindly to speak here this afternoon, what is this universal element that binds all of us? Our origins, of course, are maybe our foods and our customs and our habits, certainly. Our belief and value systems, which I think all of us hold very dearly. But think about what perpetuates all of this from generation to generation. What keeps our core intact, even though we are geographically so widely dispersed? And I believe it is the immortality of our story. Like everything that has been handed down through generations, stories are our software. They are the essence that defines our cultural codes. The shared story of India and Indians everywhere. I was thinking that the PIO badge is not really descriptive of who we are. I think we need POCS, people of common stories. Because that really is something that kind of keeps us together no matter what profession you are in, no matter where you live, no matter our individual talents and interests and hobbies. You know, all of us have been blockbuster stories all over the world in different ways. And so me, to me, the big idea of being in a big conference like this is to figure out, and I think we've been talking about that this afternoon, what are the stories that we can co-create together to build on this pedigree and this heritage. So meetings like this are really about exchanging big ideas that are wrapped around personal stories. And it's great that we're having this conversation here in Bangalore, which itself is an exquisite story. In fact, it's a fountain, as you've already seen, of several stories which have spread fame for us globally. Bangalore is a relatively new city by Indian standards, but nonetheless it has created a global impact in all the sectors that we've talked about from science and technology to aeronautics to biotechnology. But I'm here to tell you the story of our industry, which along with many new age industries is propelled by innovation and design. It is the creative industries. We uh, use acronyms because it's a mouthful to say animation and visual effects and gaming and comics and graphics and, and so on and so forth. So I think it's really the creative industries. I'll call it the digital communication industry. And every one of you in this room with a cell phone in your hand are part of the digital creative communications industry. And this is an area that I think Bangalore is already one of the world's best kept secrets. Within the digital production of content, using computer graphics is now standard practice. We at Technicolor have a particular affinity for stories and storytellers. We have made this our bread and butter for over a hundred years. There has never been a better time to change the world because we see today in the digital tsunami that it's a great time to invent stories, your stories, stories by filmmakers, stories by anyone. Every innovation in the audiovisual sciences, in movies, in television, in uh, computer games, in branded advertising, have all been touched by our technologies. And more recently, and I think the next time we all meet here in two years, in five years, in seven years, you will see that all this media is going to become immersive. And things like virtual reality and augmented reality, happening in a very, very big way in Bangalore already, is going to become the change agent. I put up this slide here to show you that over, the, over a period of time, stories don't change. There was an iconic jungle book that happened 30 years back. It was you know, powered by Technicolor at that time as well. And then more recently, the biggest production in the history of film is a movie called Jungle Book came out last year. We are nominated for the Oscar. Please pray for us on the 28th of February this year. We'll have to see what happens. So about 92% of the movie was made within Technicolor and more than half of it, including all the, the, the very interesting parts, was made here, right here in Bangalore. I believe at the ITBT stand, you can see a five or seven minute film that will show you excerpts from all the world's biggest movies that we made. I prefer showing things than talking, but this is a talking session, so bear with me for a few more minutes. The um, 
Many of you will be surprised to know that the simple act of making a movie, shooting and producing a movie, has so much science in color, picture, and sound that it is grounded in a very solid bedrock of technology. As much as it is definitely a creative industry, it has the most heavy duty technology power behind it. And we got our first Oscar for science and technology. There is one Oscar for science and technology every year. And we got the first one in 1932 for inventing the color cartoon process for Walt Disney. And we got one a few years ago for a lot of work that was done to create crowd simulation. We have currently around 40,000 patents. And any TV that you buy, a lot of high-end cameras, and most of your smartphones give us a little bit of money, so thank you. Uh, the real voyage of discovery, however, is not about seeking these new landscape and these new areas. It's about new eyes. This technology that we have, and you've used a lot of it before, MP3, MPEG, a lot of things that are coming out now in terms of uh, HDR, a lot of your phones have it, is really what we use in order this IP of ours is what we use to power the IP of the other big world majors. So we use technology in order for Disney and Sony and Paramount and Fox and Electronic Arts and Rockstar and many, many others in the entertainment world to create their IP, which are the projects, the titles, the games, and the movies that they franchise. And I think what we really had as a vision is that we would have a strategic hub in Bangalore that would actually fuel the ecosystem of all of these studios and it's my pleasure to say that that dream was seven or nine years old, and two years back we did achieve becoming the largest single platform, single studio under one roof on the planet. And we are really, really proud of having done that here in Bengaluru. Just as you cannot tell anymore what part of a movie is real and what part of a movie is not real, so also in the digital world, you no longer can tell where a movie is made because it's all going to be using technology and the best skills and the best uh, talent and the best technology will produce that wherever that is. We all know there is something magical and unmystical about the fact that Indians just get to learn and use computers better than anyone else. This we've known for the last 20, 30 years. And we have found a way in the animation industry to take that assumption and actually bring in world-class potential in creative and technical fields because a simple production of an animation scene or a visual effects scene has 12 or 14 different steps to it. And you require different uh, skills to be honed for that. So if I was to look back in the last five to seven years of what we have created in, in terms of uh, this studio in Bangalore, I feel a little bit uh, what, like the, uh, the Minister for Higher Education to acknowledge that I feel like a bit of a dean in a university because we first have to train the skills and then we have to uh, make sure that we scale them and that they can perform it. So a few years ago when we turned 100, this was about half the size of our team. Today we are 2,600 and we're just adding about 600 people more in the next five months. So that is something that is uh, both a, a, a responsibility and an honor. Three things basically are what we require to do business anywhere in the world. And I just put them out for you. And I don't think that there's a better place for us to do it than right where we are. Number one, creative production is not an island. To, to do anything that's creative requires an ecosystem where talent and technologies in-house needs to partner with people in skill sets, in training, in CG pipeline, hardware, and software. And, and the rate of obsolescence in our industry is two years. So for example, in the last nine years that we've had our studio here, We've gone through four complete refresh, complete refresh of all our computers because a machine that we buy in 2017 will not play the software of 2015. So that's how, how well we need to utilize it in order for us to keep profitable and to keep moving forward. So Bangalore is that, that, that space where the ecosystem enables this industry to flourish. The second thing that we need is a very fertile and inspiring environment. The kind of people that work in our industry are very unconventional, very left brain personalities who need to feel that they have a lifestyle both at work and where they live. And 80% uh, to 90% of our crew initially came from out of Bangalore. Today I would say seven or nine years later they are Bangaloreans. And we are in a position now to help and mentor a lot of uh, people within the state of Karnataka. 
uh, Madam Principal Secretary has already uh, spoken about the partnership where we've scaled first, uh, started working with seven colleges uh, in all the, the smaller towns of, of the state, and we're scaling that to 11, which we've already commissioned now, and we're looking at you know about 20 more in the next couple of years. So we believe we've lit a real fire in terms of creating that inspiration amongst the Karnataka students. The last point of the three points is that one needs a very robust and scalable infrastructure. Don't forget, we send hundreds and thousands of terabytes of data between ourselves and Hollywood and London and all the directors for all the films, and that needs to have a pipe that is really, really robust because the scenes get approved every single day. And so I think what we've achieved with Bangalore, and I think that's a really good description of how I see Bangalore, is that we have become the room next door to Hollywood or to London or to any of the big media hubs in the world. And we want to continue doing that. Thank you. So uh, that's a beautiful city of uh, Bangalore in the night sky. OK. Geography is key to where ideas can take flight successfully. So it's not just about having a great idea. It's about where you want to actually make that idea come to life. And I think from all that you've heard before, you've seen all the facts that have been given to you by all of the uh, distinguished members from the government. And I would just say that Bangalore is not an accidental outcome of good karma. It is not an accidental outcome of good karma. It has basically been a 100-year journey. It's a story, as we started talking about it, where science and technology took fruit here and made a fertile ground for the IT sector. And that flourished and made a fertile ground for the other sectors in biotech and so on. And th that the flourishment of those sectors are creating what I would say the new tech sectors will take flight and so on and so forth. And I think, therefore, this is part of a continuum. These are not discrete spaces, although they might seem different. I was speaking to someone yesterday who said that they went for a Bangalore traffic management seminar and they had a doctor who talked to them about the fact that you should manage our traffic the way the heart manages blood in our body. It is so efficient that it makes everything go to all the different parts. So every, what my point is that you can have learnings from different sectors even if the sciences and the arts look quite different from, the, from each other. The other point that I must absolutely stress is that there is a very well established partnership between industry, academia, and government. I think the last 25 years, this triangle is unparalleled anywhere in this country. This momentum is fueled by leadership. It's always about leadership. It's not about a policy document, not about a piece of paper. It's about the leadership in all of these three sectors that can co-author the stimulating stories that actually have resulted in the outcomes that you've seen. And um, I must, uh, in this uh, regard, thank the government we had the first policy for animation and visual effects going back five years. Uh, Ma'am's already given you a sneak preview. Uh, the minister will be speaking later on. We are very close to doing something even more dramatic, never done before in this part of the world. And I'd like to end on that note by saying that very often when we have inter interactions at the government and industry level, we talk about startup on the one hand, we talk about getting the big companies here on the other hand, and from the sector that I come from, we love this debate because we need to be both small and agile in our thinking, and we need to bring the world majors in to, to be on the other side of the spectrum. So these, the AVGC sectors needs both of these mentalities. I'd like to quickly start winding up with my last couple of comments. Bangalore is uh, gr groaning under the weight of very fast-paced growth, and I think this is both a blessing and a curse. And while we look for change, I believe that our talent and clients really they enjoy the buzz and excitement of being in a city like this. Every big metropolis in the world, you know, is like this. You get off from the plane and you can almost palpably feel that there is some like electricity in the air. Uh, for us, there are huge challenges, and the challenges are not the ones that people talk about every day. For us, it is the increasing war for talent. For us, it is the increasing r rush for real estate. For us, it is the compulsively increasing need for bandwidth and connectivity, both virtual and physical. And yet, Bangalore has this ability to just get on with it. You know, I think great stories are born out of constraint. And as storytellers and people who power storytellers, we look for something very simple. A clever plot, good visual treatment, exciting twists and turns, and finally, people should be excited and clap and go home feeling they've seen a, a good thing happen. And I think Bangalore is very much like all the good stories that we make, and I just put this slide on the screen because in the last year, Bangalore is the city that has made the most number of high-end visual effects advertising commercials. These are the brands we made commercials for in Bangalore in the last one year. Yeah, yeah.
So, I hope my story has uh, left you impressed and inspired to think about how our stories in this room, how all of our stories can intersect. How can we indeed help your story to sparkle just like we do James Bond and Superman? Bangalore today for us is like an amazing theater. It produces the world's biggest stories. This stage is set to scale because we want to bring more storytellers, you, your businesses, to collaborate with our future productions. At Technicolor, we have grown 10 times our size in the last six to seven years. And we hope that this stimulates you to look at how you can hone your idea. So Bangalore and Technicolor can help you build your next vision and make it a blockbuster to craft a reality from your dream. Thank you.